Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Leigh McCall and very soon I will be going to Corfu Island in Greece and I am so freaking excited to get out there and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to show you all my travel backpack and the gear that I bring along in trips like this and I'm thinking this might sort of kind of work out as a guide for you all that's thinking about going on a trip and what kind of gear you should take with you and what kind of gear you should leave behind. So without further ado, let's unpack this bad boy. Alright everyone, I don't want to take up too much of your time, so I'm just going to quickly scrub over all the types of gear and just run through everything, okay? So, starting off, you need a backpack, and my backpack of choice is the Think Tank Shapeshifter 17 inch version 2. I'll leave a link in the description down below. This is the absolutely best travel backpack I have ever used, and I have three bags that are sitting on my rack and this is the only one I use on my travel vacations because it compacts to such a small size but even better it doesn't look like a photography backpack. I'm not necessarily scared that someone's gonna you know roll me out as a photographer and try to rob me of my you know lenses or whatever because it just looks kind of plain Jane. So that is number one. Now this is something that's kind of small but comes with the bag this is a raincoat for your backpack essentially. Now you're like, well, you know, if what if I'm going somewhere where it's not gonna rain? Well, what if you go somewhere with some sand and you wanna leave it on the beach while you grab a shot or two? This, having a protection cover like this for your bag is, trust me, going to prevent a lot of nasty, gritty sand or just weather elements from getting inside your bag. So, starting off with my camera of choice, it is gonna be the Sony a7R 3 because for one, you're gonna be getting these really beefy batteries and I'm not gonna have to be swapping them out quite as often and that alone is already gonna be a game changer. But not only that, but the a7R 3 has an incredible crop mode in 4K, and if I wanted just a little bit extra reach on my full frame glass, I can get that. So to me, this kind of substitutes as sort of kind of two cameras. So camera of choice. Now my main lens I'm gonna be bringing with me is going to be the Sony FE 16 to 35 f 2.8 G Master lens. This lens, I guarantee you, is gonna be on my camera probably 70 to 80 percent of the time because it's so versatile when i'm shooting in full hd 120 frames per second trying to get some nice buttery slow motion shots i'm gonna have a very wide field of view if i'm at 16 mil however if i want to shoot 4k and get the highest quality readout of that sony sensor i could put it into aps-c mode and i essentially get about a 52 millimeter reach at its furthest. So like I said, versatility. Now, my second and final lens, you're like, whoa, you only bringing two lenses? That's right. That is gonna be this Honkin 70 to 200 uh, G Master. So this is also an f2.8 lens. So if I wasn't gonna bring this lens, I would probably bring my 90 millimeter macro because it's a little smaller, a little more compact, but what I'm sitting here thinking is this is more versatile. It's still an f2.8 but it reaches from 70 to 200 millimeters. And at the end of the day, it's still gonna take up the same little sock that's on the inside of my backpack. Therefore, it doesn't really matter which lens I put in there as long as it fits in the same spot. So it doesn't really take up any more space in my bag. It's just heavier. And the second camera I'm gonna be bringing with me is the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Although I don't use this camera all that much, it's actually much more versatile than I give it credit for because, for example, going to Corfu, heck yeah, I'm gonna be diving inside of the water and stuff, and this is the perfect camera to take with me, not just for diving in the water, but whenever I'm a little too scared to bring my G Master lenses and A7R 3 that close to the water. So this is just gonna allow me to get a few more shots that I otherwise wouldn't be able to get with just a standard DSLR or mirrorless camera. So, second and last camera. Pretty much the rest of this backpack is holding my DJI Ronin S. So there's the meat and potatoes of it. And in the laptop compartment, this is actually where I have the battery grip living. So you can see that I have this quick release system for the mini tripod here. It's made by Zion 
And I absolutely love this thing because I can just quickly unmount it, throw it in my backpack and get on about my business. That is what I live for on these little travel films and travel vacations I go on. At the end of the day, it's still a break from my day-to-day -day job and I want to enjoy these vacations without being too distracted with my photography and film. So I like stuff that's gonna get me in and out of there real quick and this just kinda helps with that. So, you know, let's talk about the gimbal for just a second though. There is a much smaller gimbal out there and it's called the Pilot Flight Maverick and it essentially does everything in sort of kind of more than what the Ronin S can do in a much more compact size. The problem is it's even though it's more compact, it doesn't once again it doesn't really take up any less or any more space inside of my backpack because at the end of the day it's just kind of an awkward shape and it just kind of, you know, lays down here inside of my bag. I'll kind of cover it up with this sock you can see right here and that's just kind of how it'll live so it doesn't matter what gimbal's in there it's still gonna take up roughly that much room now we're gonna dive into the accessories and i'm gonna bring my rode video micro this is the only microphone i will bring along the reason being is because it's small it's compact lightweight doesn't need any kind of battery power to it and you know this wind buster is actually really good whenever you're on high altitudes with a lot of wind coming through so and then i will be bringing as always my peak design this is uh i have a slide light and then this is just the regular slide and i believe this was their limited edition called the summit edition i love that color blue and I've had this for I think three years now and it's just the most incredible strap. It's just so quick to put on and take off your camera and you know, once again, I live for stuff like this. I just absolutely love what Peak Design's doing. Now another little accessory is this little light that I bought on Amazon for $50 a while back and this light is absolutely incredible for the price. I mean, it has a nice aluminum build. Like it feels so freaking durable. Has a nice little LED readout on the back. And the best part is that it is by color. So I can change the color temperature on the fly and I'm not stuck with just, you know, 5,500 Kelvin or whatever. Now, realistically, I don't use that light all the time, but if I ever did want to do a quick vlog, you know, like in the hotel room, which there's typically not very good lighting, then that'd be the perfect opportunity to bust that out and get some decent lighting for you guys. So moving on to the front of the backpack. All right, so in here, I got some ND filters because, you know, at the end of the day, I want my shots to look as good as possible and if I know that I'm gonna be out in the Sun for a long period of time you know I don't mind spending you know two minutes to throw on an ND filter and then in here we've got my battery so a couple extra GoPro batteries right there and then another one of the Sony batteries and to be honest guys I only take two with me so I've been over here in Europe for four years now and one thing that I have come to love is this little adapter right here and I keep this on me all the time because like I said, I've been to so many countries over here where I can't always find a good outlet or I'm swapping between US and European standard wall plugs. The other part is this little anchor uh, wall charger right here. This thing is incredible because you're gonna get all USB-A, which I can't wait until the whole world switches over to USB-C, but you get all the USB-A um, outputs right here the, the top one being quick charge and the bottom three just being a regular five volt charge. That means that I can charge my phone, my camera, my GoPro, and then I have one free for whatever else I need, such as you know maybe the LED light. So having a wall charger like this, instead of bringing multiple ones with you, I promise it's gonna save you a lot of headache further on down the road. All right, so we're getting to the end here. As I just go into the top, I have another Peak Design wrist strap. If I'm wanting to do a little more casual walking around, maybe like if I'm gonna go out and dine, I'll still bring my camera with me, but I probably won't bring the strap. I'll bring something like that. And then I've got a lens pin. You, I promise, will always want to keep one of these on you because you are gonna get all kinds of disgusting things on the front of your camera lens. So definitely bring a lens pin with you. And then I just got, you know, like a regular pin and a Sharpie marker, business cards, of course. And then last but not least, here is my color checker passport. I don't use it as much as I should. However, when I do use it, I am so glad that I did. I don't know why, but it always seems like hotel rooms are the worst, but 
there's so many different types of lighting going on in hotel rooms sometimes you'll get a tungsten bulb over here you have leds above you maybe even daylight coming in through the windows it can get kind of disgusting to try to white balance properly inside of there so that's where you know you just pop this open in front of your face for a second before you vlog and then you have a white balance card right there and then if i want to take an extra minute or two i can start color picking and I will basically be able to color grade and get a good result in like half the time. So that's why I keep this with me, but I'm kind of bad about using it. So I know that was like really quick, but it shows you everything that I'm gonna be taking in my bag. And something else you wanna remember is once you get to your hotel or Airbnb or wherever you're staying, you know, I'm not gonna be using the gimbal all the time. Therefore, I will take it out of my bag and then this backpack will be even lighter and even thinner and I won't have to worry about lugging extra unnecessary amount of weight around. All right, and that is it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are not a subscriber, consider doing so by hitting that button down below and go ahead and enable the bell notification icon so that you know when I'm uploading, right? And if you did enjoy this video, feel free to violently attack that like button down below. And of course, if you didn't like the video, well, you know what to do. Hit that dislike button twice. Let me know you really hated it, okay? Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. My name is Lennon.